big moron! Hey, moron! Duh! Look at me! I'm the Woo Waterboard, dude! What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you guys are all having a great uh, Thirsty Thursday. The weekend is just around the corner, and um, we have a little bit of news that's out here. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles will get a big push because they... Um, are going to allow the tush push to remain as something that they can do. Now, I'm not sure that without Kelsey that it's going to be as good as it was. And I still wonder, did Jalen Hurts get hurt doing the tush push? Now, I touched on this a little earlier today, but I, I want you to understand how tired I am of hearing Philly 500 every day. Now, now I get it. They're signing free agents and stuff. Now, some are bigger than others, okay? Saquon Barkley, huge signing, okay? I can understand you pounding your chest on that one, you know, because that is, you know, you hurt the Giants because Daniel Jones is ass-ass. Saquon was really the only good thing that they had. And, you know, I understand that one. But not all these moves are earth-shattering. Listen to this one. Breaking news, breaking news. The Eagles had another wide receiver, and there is no doubt Howie Roseman is building a monster. Okay. That's Paris Campbell, who was with Indianapolis for four years, and with the Giants last year, he had like 108 yards. In his career, he's got like 1,000. They're building a juggernaut. You know, he goes on about this is like, yeah, you know, like it's Jerry Rice. I, 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 Philly, slow your roll down. Slow your roll just a little bit, bro. I know you get excited about all your shiny new pieces, and you'll be sending me a text message telling me how great you are and how you're winning like you did all last offseason. You did, you know you did last offseason. You continue to come through and tell me how great you were, how, you know, how you're going to be able to run against that defensive front and you're not going to be able to pass because they're going to be intercepting the ball left and right that you guys are literally, you literally told me there was no reason to have an NFL season that they should just give you the Super Bowl trophy right then and there. Yeah. So there's that. Now, I want to deal with an uh, interesting take here. This was um, Fox Sports. And I want to give you my take on this. There's absolutely GMs and coaches out there thinking, if Dak Prescott was on my roster, we'd win a Super Bowl. And I want to get your take on that because I know a lot of people insert joke here laughing. Dak's a bum. Dak sucks. Well, there's a lot of teams out there. If you added 36 TD passes and only nine interceptions, probably be doing a whole lot better. And I know there's people out there that say, Dak's a bum. Get rid of him. And here's my thoughts on that whole concept because I don't think most of you – we've actually – I know we haven't won the Super Bowl in a long time. But I have to say that the Cowboys have been spoiled in the quarterback situation since, what, 2005? That we've had 19 years of having two good quarterbacks. That doesn't happen that often. Yes, Brett Favre. You know, pass the torch to Aaron Rodgers. They ended up having one. And it looks like they're fortunate enough to pass the torch to Jordan Love. After one season, we looked like he's going to be the real deal. But you start thinking about teams like the Cleveland Browns that have drafted quarterback after quarterback and signed veteran after veteran. 
that still, you know, they, they brought in now Jameis Winston to go with Deshaun Watson. And, uh, you know, they had Joe Flacco there last year. You know, they had Johnny Manziel and Baker Mayfield and so on. Or you think about Washington, you know, that's, you know, right there that's going to be drafting a quarterback again that just moved on after another year of, you know, Sam Howell and, you know, they had Haskins, they had Alex Smith, they've had, you know, RG3, they had Kirk Cousins, they've had Donovan McNabb, you know. I mean, they have literally just gone through quarterback after quarterback. And what I will say is, as we go through this offseason, I want you guys to take note because right now, you're making the argument that Dak is not the problem. When you say the Cowboys are losing all their players, that most of them you said were bums to begin with, and that the Cowboys don't care about winning, that Jerry Jones isn't bringing anybody to help you win, how can you then turn around when the season gets here and say, the quarterback's a bum, and we need to change him. I, I, I don't understand how you literally can say, as we sit here and know the Cowboys have cap issues, that they're not restructuring contracts, that they're not bringing in more players, that they've lost nine players, I believe, right now. Nine? Nine? Yeah. We have nine slots to fill, and we don't have enough draft picks to fill them all. And we're already talking about undrafted rookie free agent signings that will be able to fill in the holes. So how do we go through and then blame Dak Prescott? So if you're blaming Dak knowing that the Joneses aren't giving any help. And you could dare say the loss of Zeke, the loss of Cedric Wilson, the loss of Amari Cooper, the loss of Connor Williams, the the loss of uh, Connor McGovern, the co- loss of Lyle Collins, and the fact that we're now saying, well, you know, Zeke could be coming back. Or, you know, when Connor Williams' knee is healed, that maybe he could come back. If we are literally saying those kinds of things, if we are literally saying those kinds of things, then how are we blaming the quarterback? That's the thing I don't understand is how we're blaming the quarterback if we see all these things right here. And I dare say if the Cowboys moved on from Dak Prescott, we'd literally be The Commanders. I'm being honest with you. We'd be the Commanders without the free agent signings. And that is the honest to God truth. The one place that we've actually been doing good at is quarterback. I know trolls and Dak Prescott haters, you know, are going to be in here saying "You're you're crazy, he's whack and all this. But I look and say, If you're blaming Dak, then how come Tampa Bay, which has gone out and got all kinds of weapons, great running game, Tariq Hill, one of the biggest weapons in football, and, of course, Tua, we heard people say tank for Tua. Are they winning Super Bowls? We've got a Josh Allen out there that, you know, they've had good teams for several years. He's not winning Super Bowls, so are we saying that we're not saying that about him, Right. We only say that about our quarterback, Dak Prescott. That's kind of interesting to me, to say the least. But again, you move on from Dak Prescott, be prepared. Because I hear all you guys that right now that have been saying, blow it up, blow it up and start all over, are now bitching because they haven't signed these guys and you're saying we're going to have a down year. You can't have it both ways, people. Can't have it both ways. All right, good people. I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.